We see no reason why these charges should not be dropped. The schools provided for the plaintiffs are fully adequate. Mr. Marshall, you are prepared to present evidence that the school facilities for the plaintiffs are not equal to those afforded white students. We are here, uh, extensive evidence. On page 17 of your brief, you raise a different question. The separate schools cause continuing deprivation and harm to Negro children and should be discontinued. Correct? The uh, state constitution and laws of South Carolina are clear on that. Public education must be segregated by race. The statute says any person having one-eighth or more Negro ancestry shall attend colored school. Correct? Correct. But if you ask to discontinue separate schools, you are challenging the legality of the South Carolina statute that separates education by race. Our goal here is to get equal schools. Mr. Marshall, your brief raises the constitutional issue of segregated schools, so it must be addressed. Court procedures prohibit a single judge from declaring a state law to be in conflict with the Constitution of the United States. For that, a three-judge court is required. If the court please, the Plessy v. Ferguson case, decided by the Supreme Court of the United States in 1896, established the principle of separate but equal. Since then, the right of the states to have laws separating the races has been upheld seven times by the Supreme Court. Segregation is legal. Now, there's no reason to cover that ground again. Mr. Marshall, do you believe separation of schools is consistent with the Constitution of the United States? I do not, sir. But for now, we simply wish to obtain relief for the children under the existing system. We are asking for equal schools. You have already taken the position, Mr. Marshall. You climb up on that horse, you can't climb back down. I'll expect you to refile, bringing the issue of school segregation clearly before the three-judge court. boxes in, didn't he? He put it in the brief, and he decided to hold our feet to the fire. Sometimes history takes matters into its own hands. In the Chinese language, the symbol for misfortune is the same as the symbol for opportunity. Let's make this our opportunity. How could we prove that segregation is unfair to our clients? Harold, what would you do if a car runs into your client's car? I try to prove damage to my client and his car. How? I put expert witnesses on and they testify as to how much damage was done. Doctors, police, auto mechanics, whatever. That's what we have to do here. Show that our clients are irreparably damaged by being forced to attend these doghouse schools. Their minds are what's damaged. It isn't easy to prove something we can't see. Very good. Kenneth Clark. <laughs> Go to it.
Professor Clark, you can go ahead with your experiments. The court order or no court order? You get your business finished in two days and get on out of Clarendon County. Yeah? Show me a colored doll. Tell me. Show me the doll that you like best. Tell me. And which doll is most like you? Show me a colored dog. Show me the dog that has a nice color. Show me the doll that looks ugly. Show me a white dog. Show me a Negro dog. Which dog is an ugly dog? Uh-oh, that's the Negro. 